a table of values. All right. So basically what I'm going to have you guys do is evaluate your equation um, for a table of values. So basically all you're going to do is I say I want the table of values, I want the x values between negative 3 and 3. So by using a table here, I have x and I have y. Now, just like we were plotting points, there's infinite many points you can plot, right? Those x and y axis go on to forever. So there's infinite many points. So I only want you to plot the x values for negative 3 and 3. So let's just list all those. So that'd be negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. All right? So for your table of values over here, you're going to choose all of these points. Now, to find the y values, you're going to evaluate this equation for when x equals each of these values. All right? I'll do a couple of them the long ways. And then once you guys kind of identify the pattern, once you guys identify the pattern, you can start doing it a little bit easier. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 squared is negative 4 times negative 4, which is positive 16. I like to put these in parentheses. I should have done that. Then we do negative 2 minus 1 squared. Negative 2 minus 1, I'm um, sorry, negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is positive 9. y equals negative 1 squared. Negative 1 squared is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 squared is just 0. Then let's do 1. So I have 1 minus 1. Wait a minute. Why did I square that? I don't know. Um, negative 1 square, or negative 1 minus 1 is going to be negative 2. Negative 2 squared is equal to positive 4. Yes. Yeah. My bad. I don't know why I put the square there. Now let's do 0. 1. Now we do 0. 0 minus 1 squared. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. And then if I do y equals 1, actually, let's just do these in your head. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 squared is 0. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 squared is 1. And what you guys can see is this actually is going to start repeating itself. And I could check my work, but I know that the answer right there is going to be 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 squared is 9. OK? So that's how you complete your table. So that's going to be one group. You have six different functions to complete a table for.